Am I the asshole for not helping my sister watch my nephew during a flight delay? Ray and I grew up in NYC. Our parents own a vacation home. When I moved out they decided to move there permanently. They've only been back once so I recently decided to visit them. Mom and Ray were talking and my plans came up. She called and asked why I didn't tell her I was planning to go to Carly. I said it had nothing to do with her so why would I have to tell her anything. She said it made no sense for us to do separate trips when we could just go together. I said she's acting extremely entitled to something she had no parts in and I'm not obligated to include her in every plan I make. She said she just wants our parents to meet her son. I said he's like five months you had plenty of time to take him if it was important. Then she cried to mom. Ma said it was a good idea. I said if Ray cared so much she would have planned to see them on her own. She told me she really needs this. I told Ray if she comes she can't ask me for shit I'm not helping with her kid act like I'm not even there. She agreed. The day came and our connecting flight was delayed so we had to stay the night. I was trying to fall asleep. She asked me if I was really going to sleep. I was annoyed. I said if you leave me tf alone. Later she asked me to watch the baby. I said just hold him and go to sleep. She was scared someone would snatch him while she slept. I said she sounds fkn crazy and no one wants her kid. She said she was exhausted and had been drinking energy drinks all night but she was crashing and tried to put him in my arms again. I said this is exactly why you should have just stayed tf at home. I told you from jump I'm not doing shit. You already forced your way here now you're just gonna have to figure it out. She said seriously? I'm fkn exhausted I can barely even keep my eyes open I said then go to sleep and closed my eyes. She knew what the terms were. We made it there but later mom asked if she really raised me to be so cold towards my sister. She told me she had broken down and had a mental meltdown. I said I love my sister but she should grow up and stop being so dramatic about a situation she put herself in. She said it wouldn't have hurt to help her even just a little. I told her I didn't help her make the baby and she should have known something could go wrong when traveling. We got back a week ago and haven't spoken to each other at all but she texted me today how hurt she was and she feels like I don't care about her or my nephew at all. I told her she knew what she was getting into when she begged to come and imposed on my trip. She said she thought I would have changed my mind when I realized we would have to sleep in the airport and that she would have done it for me. I said your kid. Your responsibility. I might be willing to just apologize to shut her up if people say I'm the R. ESH. Your sister did sound a bit entitled but fucking hell you sound like an absolute peach. There are several ways to handle the shit life throws at you, you chose poorly. You might not be the R but you definitely seem like an R. Info you say you were trying to sleep and, later she asked me to watch the baby is this implying that you had taken a nap slept and woke up later at which point she asked for your help. Info why are you so nasty to your sister? It sounds like you hate her. You're the asshole. I can't imagine having this level of hate and vindictiveness for anyone let alone my sister. Delayed flights and sleep deprivation are exceptional circumstances. She didn't ask you to hold the baby while she got a latte. She was literally awake for 24 hours and worried about her medical health the baby's safety. You can't just sleep with the baby on the floor in the airport. If I was your sister I would never talk to you again. I get some people hate kids, but like damn. You're the asshole. Your entire post reeks of being a mean-spirited and terrible sister aunt. Info are you this rude all the time or only to your family members? Everything that comes after I said is rude and mean. Yes h yes, she could have waited for another time to take a trip if you really didn't want to be around her that badly, but who acts the way you do? You are the one acting like a child and a major R. Info why do you hate your sister and her kids so much? Don't bother trying to say you don't, it's blatantly obvious that you do. 
technically not the asshole because you set your conditions and stuck to them but damn if I was your sister I would really be questioning whether I wanted you in my life or not. The way you talk to her and about her is really awful. It doesn't seem like you want her in your life either. Also, baby snatching is a very real and dangerous possibility. So you were technically in your right to say no, this was a situation where a fraction of kindness and empathy would have went a long way. Are you the asshole? Probably not. But do you sound like an asshole? Absolutely. Up you're the asshole for these responses to comments. You came for internet judgment, and you got it. If we're answering are you in the wrong for what you did? No. You have the freedom to travel how you wish and technically your nephew isn't your problem. Are you an asshole though? Oh absolutely. This post is dripping with contempt for your family from the beginning, and you seem like an incredibly unpleasant person to be siblings with. You're the asshole. You don't sound like a very nice person. You obviously hate your sister and her child. You hate them so much you were willing to put a baby in an unsafe situation. Your sister could have fallen asleep with him and dropped him. You said no one wants her child but kidnappings happen all of the time. Trafficking is an issue and it's especially easy with babies. I'd cry you hate her so much but maybe just stay away from them. Do you hate your sister? Your story alone makes you sound like a huge R. I would never help you with anything. Info why are you so hostile to your sister? Would you still be posting here if your sister had fallen asleep and someone had taken her baby? You're right to want boundaries with your sister. You're right to not want her to act entitled to your help. I just think you show a lot of disregard for a baby's safety, especially when that's your nephew. I'm not gonna leave a judgment here but I do think you should consider how you would have felt if your nephew was actually kidnapped. That actually happens to people, even if not often. Your whole post is dripping with hostility. You're the asshole. You claim to love your sister, but we don't treat people we love this way. Obviously you have no idea how it works to have kids since you say he's like five months old she had plenty of time for her to take him if it was that important. Five months isn't that old and seems to be an appropriate age for him to have him his first flight to see family. You're the asshole. What is wrong with you? Do you hate her? You're the asshole. I don't think you realize how childish and selfish you sound. You sound like an incredibly immature and self-centered person, your motive for apologizing is to shut your sister up, but you have no remorse. This isn't some random stranger, but it's your sister that you claim to love. You're the asshole. Do you have a reason to be? The tone of your comments to your sister seem really intense. So many TFS. Do you hate her, in general? Two small paragraphs in and I'm like, who the hell talks to a sister this way unless they're borderline no contact? You're the asshole. You sound like the literal worst. Damn, are you alright? You sound miserable to be around. It's totally your right to refuse to help her. But really doesn't seem necessary to be so overwhelmingly nasty. Lucky for you, she'll probably never want to go anywhere with you again. You're the asshole, probably quite frequently, 